Hey, thanks for joining me on this episode 54 of the Positioning to Profit podcast. In this episode, I'm sharing a little clip with you, a significant moment in my life. And with everything going on, I even thought, I'm like, okay, let me put it off. Let me put off the podcast because I have so much going on. But as I went out for my walk today, I was just really reflecting on how grateful I am with everything that has transpired this year, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it, even Mercury in retrograde. But one of the things that happened is I hosted a boot camp a week, like a week and a half ago, and it was such a rewarding experience on many fronts. But even though it was a breakthrough success for me, uh, which I'm very grateful for, what was even more significant was the fact that I got clarity on a concept that I would speak to, but it wasn't as clear as it was in this moment. So you're probably like, what? But let me explain. This is about making your message matter. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna share today. And it was such a pivotal moment for me. I have to share it here with you too. Your message matters. All right, (laughs) that's the preview. Here we go. Hey there, I'm Patty Dominguez. You're about to discover what it means to position your brand and your business to stand out. This show explores the stories of small business owners just like you who are bringing their message out to the world and impacting their tribe. So if you want to take your business to a category of one status, then hang with me because this podcast shares everything you need to know about how to be more prolific with your brand so that you can have more profits. One of the best videos I saw today um, was from Annie. Annie joined late, or she initially joined the boot camp, and she had the most beautiful message. Legitimately, started crying. She joined the boot camp when I announced that I was putting together a boot camp, and she said, "Okay, I'm going to join the boot camp because I really want to learn." And um, she was so lovely. And what happened? Um, regretfully, her mother passed away the first day that the boot camp opened. And she, of course, had to tend to personal things, um, personal effects and and all that for her mother's passing. Um, So our sincere condolences for your mother's passing, Annie. This caused, of course, for her attention to be focused where it should be. And then she had this amazing realization. And she said, you know, I wanted to do this boot camp. I wanted to watch Patty's videos because I wanted to do it for me. And um, it was such a lovely message, you guys. Like, it was so nice to hear her say that. She's like, I just wanted to carve out that time for myself, for my business. I wanted to do it for myself because I've been so focused on everybody else. That boot camp was really significant to me because it meant me focusing on me. And you guys, I never realized that something is silly, not silly, but something as simple as my boot camp impacted her in that way. It, it's like you never know um, how your stuff is going to impact someone. You just never know. And I was just so grateful. I was like sitting, <clears throat> I was sitting in, in bed this morning, so just really like tired. It's been a long week. And I just started crying with extreme gratitude. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful message that she gave and how touching it is and how important it was for her to, to participate in the boot camp for no other reason than that she wanted to dedicate it for herself. This was her own, um, her, a gift to herself to focus on her, her business, her message. And that's exactly what this is about. It's like all these times that um, people say, oh, you, uh, like put out your group coaching and do this and that. And I was so focused on my corporate consulting and one-on-one that I didn't, I was like, yeah, I'll get around to my group. I had originally planned on launching this boot camp right as Corona started. And then I was like, okay, (laughs) let me put that on the back burner because it seems extremely uh, inappropriate almost to focus on that. And so I put it off, put it off. And then other things that were happening outside in the marketplace and um, the social media blackout. And I was like, wow, am I supposed to be doing this? And I'm like, yes, I am. You know, this is a sincere message. I, I have been taught, I have been mentored to give and to serve and let just go and let go. And I was like, okay, I'm going to put it out there. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that that comment from Annie today, the last day, would hit me so hard in the way of like, wow, you just never know. Back to you guys. 
Don't make it about you. Make it about just putting it out there because you have no idea who it can serve and the impact that you can make. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that this would impact someone in that way. I am so grateful. I got it. I finally got it. Meaning, some of you guys, we were on the same coaching program where you learned the lesson of don't make it about you. Don't ask how good you are. Ask who you can serve. And we and we we hear it. We adaptively hear it. Or no, we philosophically understand the words, but we don't know it. And it wasn't until today that I did I know it. Now I know. Okay, that is what I wanted to share with you all because it was a significant moment for me. I have been uh, on this entrepreneur journey since January of 2013. I mean, I remember the day that I quit my corporate job and what was what I had in my head was going to be the journey. It has been anything but. It has been ups, it has been downs, it has been lows. It has been everything, but it's been the greatest ride of my life. And I just wanted to share this with you because even though I have worked with, you know, so many clients, hundreds, thousands of hours of coaching and just really expressing to my clients, like your message matters, like, please put yourself out there in a way that is significant because you just never know. But I never really understood it for myself in this way, at this level. And it's just been such a gift that that particular situation happened so that I can understand, really know what it means when I say your message matters. So don't make it about you, make it about who you can serve. Because I promise you, if you don't do this thing that you have inspiration to do, the universe will find someone else to do it with. They'll find another container. And I know that may sound woo, but that's what I know to be true because I live it. I live it. And I have the good fortune of working my dharma. I get I get to do what I get to do. And it's been so rewarding for me. And I'm so grateful for it. So I hope that this inspired you to really understand and hopefully to know just how important it is to share your message. Your message matters. And positioning you in that space so that you're holding mindshare in your premium prospects mind is really where it's at. So continue this journey with me here on positioning to profit. And I will keep sharing what I know and what I've implemented and all that good stuff so that you can not only have more profits, but really, really make an impact. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for checking out the Positioning to Profit podcast. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new episodes. And also, it would mean the world to me if you would take a quick moment to leave a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or your favorite podcast player. It really helps to get the word out about the podcast and, of course, the featured guests. And lastly, please make sure to connect with me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. I'm on all of them and use hashtag positioning to profit so that I can (laughs) search you out and connect that way too. All right. Thanks so much. See you next time.